the liquid format of our Siebel Institute sensory training kits allows for flexibility in how beer is prepared for use in beer taster training. Each vial contains one milliliter of spiking solution that, when added to one liter of beer, will result in a concentration of approximately three times the recognized threshold level of the compound. This is a level that allows the average untrained taster to be able to recognize the aroma and flavor characteristics of the compound. To prepare one liter of spiked beer for taste panel use, you need enough cold beer to serve each of the sensory compounds to be served. There must also be beer available to serve as an unspiked control beer which is used as a reference for tasters to compare against the spike samples. You can use draft beer or bottled beer. You require a clean pitcher with enough volume to hold over one liter of liquid and accurate graduated measures showing a one liter level. Finally, you need enough vials of Siebel Institute sensory training compounds to spike a sufficient amount of beer for your panelists. When your panel is ready to begin tasting, open the vial of spiking compound and pour it into the empty pitcher. Add beer to the pitcher to reach a one liter volume. Pouring beer into the liquid spiking compound should automatically provide the mixing required to ensure the even distribution of the compound in the beer. While the amount of beer added doesn't need to be exact, being as close to one liter as possible assists in making the tasting experience accurate. The one liter volume should be measured after the foam has settled back into the liquid beer. Once the pitcher of beer is mixed, servers can either pour the samples into individual cups or tasters can pass pitchers along and pour their own samples. We recommend the use of 300 ml or 10 ounce plastic cups, with each sample poured to measure 50 ml or 1.5 ounces of spiked beer. This pour size ensures 20 samples for each liter poured. Using pitchers offers convenient mixing, but it also requires time to mix the solution in beer and to have tasters pour the samples. For large groups of people, this can take up valuable time during a sensory presentation. In breweries with many potential tasters, tasters can sometimes come into the tasting environment individually or in small groups over a day, making timing of mixing and service difficult. In these situations, taste panel managers can instead use an automatic lab pipette to accurately measure the liquid spike compounds into open bottles of beer and then reseal the bottles to use later. Individuals or groups of tasters can then easily open and pour their own samples as required, making the tasting process faster and more convenient. For advanced tasting panels, our liquid compounds allow taste panel managers to easily vary the spiking rate of beer samples by measuring the spiking compounds using a lab pipette. This gives panel managers a valuable tool in assessing tasters' ability to identify sensory compounds at different concentrations as part of an advanced quality control panel management system. For example, one liter of beer can be spiked with one-third of the vial of a sensory compound, resulting in spiked beer that is at the taste threshold level. Tasters that are able to identify compounds at this low level are valuable contributors to any quality control taste panel program. 